Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Awesome of Otakify here to bring you an episode, a podcast episode of us discussing is anime a deal breaker? I don't really know what goes on in this conversation. It was previously recorded uh, by Tommy and Mike. I wasn't present, but I figured I'd try to do something a little bit different. Add some of my ideas to this podcast since I wasn't able to be present. Uh, but thanks for technology. Uh, I can totally interject and say stuff um, that I wasn't there for. So <laughs> uh, this will kind of be a cross between a reaction video and like a podcast. Uh, if you guys are listening on Spotify, obviously you can't see my face, but I do appreciate you guys for listening. If you guys are watching this or listening to it on YouTube, please know that we do also post these up on Spotify. Um, so let's get into it. I, I think I got it this time. I don't know. You like I was <laughs> so if you guys don't know, we're actually Skyping right now. <laughs> I was watching Mike and <laughs> trying to see his clap, but then like there was like this like instant like not transmutation. The, there was like an instant where like, you clapped and it your hands didn't even move. Like they're already together. And I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways hey guys um this is talk by here uh my name is tommy yo what up guys it's mike yeah and uh unfortunately awesome isn't here today but i am here today actually quick side note uh we run into issues syncing up because we're almost always recording these podcasts in different locations i'm in an entirely different state i think tommy's in one city and mike's in another city so that'll explain why sometimes there might be a lag or why we're almost always laughing our ass off at the beginning of the episode <laughs> anyway back to it we just wanted to get one of these podcasts out to you guys real quick and I was like looking at all of the old stuff that we had like planned in the past, but it just never happened. And one of the topics actually happened to be like a discussion topic. Um, it's actually, I guess it refers to like guys and girls. So do you consider anime as a deal breaker? Um, Mike, do you have any, <laughs> any input on that? I mean, it, it doesn't help that we both like anime. <laughs> I guess... If you had to think of a perspective of someone who doesn't watch anime, do you think it's a deal breaker? No, I like I like my girls not liking anime. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just kidding. Um, no, I, absolutely not. Obviously, you said that you know we both like anime and watch anime and freaking are about anime, so it would be a plus for me. Yeah. Not a deal breaker. No, but yeah. like, but it <laughs> like say what? It, okay, so you currently in say like theoretically you're not in to anime right and okay so girl you like you see this like fine girl right or okay uh, give me ugly any okay <laughs> <laughs> like any type of girl right and you're just like you're single okay. you know you're thirsty but then you still think you're still single you still have your like standards. but i still have standards yeah and then you you're just like oh you're okay. like vibing off this girl you're like oh this is a cool girl yeah. and then I don't, like you guys are like paying for something right and then she pulls mm -hmm. out her wallet and it's like a like a clutch wallet but it has like i don't know say freaking uh hello no, no hello kitty's kind of general uh it's kind of mainstream it's a like sailor moon or mm. well, or we could, we could go worse we could go worse like boku no pico <laughs> like something like that you know <laughs> yeah, there we go yeah so <laughs> there we go what would your first reaction be when you see that um if I wasn't into anime? You, you weren't into anime. Oh, I would just pretty much ask about it. Oh. So you're I'd be like, yo, what's what is that? You know? <laughs> but is it that character's kinda interesting. It's different from what I've seen. <laughs> it's I've it, never seen that before. <laughs> yeah. So it's not like a shocker or anything where it's just like, uh I need a back. But out. like okay, so I know about anime though, right? That's like the scenario here, right? You know what anime is, but you don't watch it, you're not into it. Uh, like I've seen it and I've decided no, that's not for me. Yeah, like it's like, me, okay. Let's we'll throw out the like the thought that everyone thinks of, uh, like anime's for kids. So like, okay, okay, mm. shit, man. Then I'm I'm a big kid, <laughs> dude. I I wouldn't mind even if like I didn't. But if I thought that way, then I'd be like, oh man, this kind of like i'd glaze over it i'd be like okay maybe this is just not a big deal it probably isn't yeah because like you know it's 
it's kind of just one facet of a person. Yeah. You know, unless you're dealing with like a full on otaku, then it's like their life. So <laughs> that could be a problem if I wasn't into anime. It, that would just be like any other, uh, I guess, non congruency between people in a relationship is just like, you know, that's not a shared interest. Yeah, yeah. Not that, not necessarily it's a deal breaker. And um, so I guess what you're getting at is like anime. Ooh, there's a stigma. Yeah. Ooh, it's kind of like, you know, looked down upon. Exactly. And nowadays things are changing. And back in the day, since I'm me and I've always liked anime, then it wouldn't have been a big deal for me no matter what time, like modern day or like back in the day, it would have been a problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so like... Okay, so actually before we continue with that, I did want to say he act. Okay, first off, that's a really good question, <clears throat> but also really difficult to answer, being that we're all otakus. For me, I guess like the best analogy that I could think of is if somebody or like if I if I was out on a date with a chick and she pulled out a wallet, but instead of anime, it was like star wars or something like that like i've watched a little bit of star wars but i'm not hardcore star wars so it might be like oh you're into star wars in the instance where he said it's like okay like i know what anime is but there's a certain stigma i don't really know that there's a stigma attached to star wars but i could totally be like yo like what is that like oh you're you're really into star wars like you know tell me about it and then i think that'd be a pretty good conversation starter not necessarily a deal breaker for me so if it were anime i think that would probably a similar reaction that i would have if i obviously wasn't into it say currently right now as you are right now you're into anime Mm. your current girlfriend say you guys Mm. weren't dating yet you guys aren't together but then you know you kind of like saw her from across the room and you're like oh Who's that cutie, you know? And then <laughs> yeah. you walk up and then... So, okay, I'm starting a scenario of high school just because a lot of anime takes place in high school. Nice. So current mm-hmm. states are, and everything, but you're in high school and you see her open her locker and just decked out in <laughs> full anime. Like every single <laughs> anime you could think of, like all genres, all like super quiet girls to like super buff guys. And, you know, Ooh. especially, you know, the... <laughs> lollies? Are there lollies? There is all sorts of lollies. Uh, lots of yaoi. I mean, it has... Okay, let's just throw yaoi. It just a balance to, to be, <laughs> a healthy variety. Yeah, because, you know, <laughs> with this, for some reason, <laughs> there's always that person who's, like, really into yaoi. But it's cool, you know? I don't judge. But, yeah, so <laughs> it's just, like, two guys just, like, <laughs> just holding each other in an embrace. <laughs> Would, would that be a do? Will that be a do worker? No, that, that would actually be a conversational topic. I'd be an opener. Okay, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't back out? No, no, I wouldn't. I, am I still the kind of guy that is not into anime? No, you're in your current state of mind, but you're just... Oh, you know. no, that would be like, yo, what's going on in your locker? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, this is wrong, this is wrong. I don't know why you're watching that. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just. I'm not that mean. Yeah. But I do have standards. So watch the Anime. watch the right shit. Anime standards. <laughs> it's like, hey, yo, girl. I I think you cute and all, but your taste in anime is just. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the end of our conversation. Until you have better choices, don't even talk to me. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, it's it's actually funny because um. Back in the day when I brought up the same exact topic to my girlfriend, like right now. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I was like, yo, so is anime a deal breaker? Like, because, you know, like ever since we started dating, we were, like I was always into anime. But then, of course, comparing to then and now, it's like completely different, like my taste in anime. But like, is it a deal breaker? And she was like, no, honestly, it's not a deal breaker. Because, you know, like Jade, she was into like... Um, like Kingdom Hearts and all that stuff back in the day. So she was already into that kind of otaku realm, but not like full dived. But she knows of mm-hmm. everything and she doesn't judge, which is which is dope. Um, and I was like, oh, that's cool. That's good to know. And then. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. Like I remember talking to like my cousins about it. Everyone thinks it's kind of weird. 
Like, mm. especially... Oh, the, it's a deal breaker. Yeah, it's a deal breaker. Yeah, because, you know, a lot... Oh. Unfortunately, they kind of thought, like, oh, yeah, you know, that's kind of kiddie, that's kind of immature. You're, like, how old and you're still into this? And... I was just like, oh, okay. yeah, you know, whatever. Like it, it, it doesn't, flow, yeah. it doesn't like bug me. And then now they're like, oh, you know, you guys kind of have this like company, this brand that you guys have, and yet you guys are doing, you're still doing it, and people are recognizing you. So it's kind of cool that we're kind of still in that. We're still in that kind of thought, but yeah. they're starting to respect it. What's what we? Well, before we get back into that, one of the things that I want to say is like, if I was in that situation, <clears throat> chick opens up her locker and it's like filled with anime stuff, like I probably lose my mind. I actually did uh, date a girl uh, fairly seriously a few months ago, and she was totally in anime. As a matter of fact, she was more into it than I was, and I thought it was the most awesome thing. Not a deal breaker by any means that she had like a room filled with like toys and posters and all sorts of stuff like that. To me, it was kind of like, yo, I want to get to know you better. So I don't know. That's definitely my take. We, we like what we like. I mean, what's going to change that? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I guess they, it's, I guess it's not a deal breaker. I guess anime is not a deal breaker. Not for us. Yeah. At least not for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dude, but so nowadays you're cool with it? You're cool with anime? I feel like a lot of people are kind of cool with it. All, all I've always been cool with it, dude. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, no, but it's it's kind of crazy how like you know, the trend in I guess anime and geek culture has kind of shaped a lot of people, and it's been more accepting recently, especially with all the superhero mm-hmm. movies, all that shit that came out. A lot of yeah. people are more welcome to it. Everyone's like, oh, I gotta go to Comic-Con, because, you know, that's where all the celebs are at, you know? So, a lot of yeah. people who were who weren't into that scene back in the day, they're like, mm-hmm. oh, I gotta get tickets to Comic-Con, I gotta get tickets to Comic-Con. And yeah. they're finally accepting that culture, or finally bringing out all that stuff that they kind of hid back then. To- yeah, they kind of suppressed it. Yeah, and they're like, you know what, it is kind of cool now. Everyone's... Oh, wearing all these cool vintage shirts of this or whatever. Oh, it's like, oh, I see Powerline. So that's so tight. That's so retro. You know, Sailor Moon. Hell mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I think one of the things uh, that's interesting. Tommy's totally right. The fandom for anime has increased tremendously, even from when we started this company. So to me, I think it's now becoming a deal breaker if my girl or my love interest isn't into anime or isn't even open to it um we're so we're so deep in it now so like (laughs) if you're not into anime and you're not open-minded like i don't know for me it's one of the main things just to see like how open-minded are you will you watch this and i'm not gonna force anybody into watching anything super crazy uh but I will, you know, ask a couple questions to figure out what sort of movies and things that she's into and then show her anime based off of that, seeing as more contemporary anime has something for everybody. Um, but I just figure, you know, if you're not even open to it or you're always falling asleep when I'm trying to show you something like, hey, girl, careful. <laughs> yeah no it's it's good it's good to have it in kind of a main stream yeah and not in the alleyways you know where it's kind of shady and scary yeah 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 i think yeah i think definitely at, as far as where everything's turning it's it's moving forward for, in a good way yeah progressing, progressing. yeah which is nice right. so if you guys ever run into a person who is into anime, I mean, of course, people who are watching this video are probably into anime, but, you know, don't shy that away. Kind of welcome it, because it's going to pique your interest. You're going to be like, why are these people into anime? What's so special about anime? And they're going to blow your mind if your mind's <laughs> down there. And just kidding. <laughs> There's an anime for everyone. There is an anime for everyone. For everyone. That, 
that's the that's the goal here, you know, trying to find that anime for that person who hasn't found mm-hmm. their anime yet. Uh, yeah, but so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that really quick uh, little talk about uh, if anime is a deal breaker. Um, yeah, if you guys like these like podcasts and stuff or have any suggestions for us what to talk about next, let us know down in the comments. Please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, Mike, got any uh, final words to say real quick? Yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for listening, guys, and have a good day. Take care, guys. Peace. Peace. So, first off, I love those guys. My faves. My besties. Uh, This is such an important conversation because of the fact that it revolves largely around why we created this company in the first place. The goal is to spread anime. And so asking whether or not it's deal breaker, you know, I think that that really ties into the theme. And in the end, you know, as they were talking about, like how there's an anime for everyone, there is like the goal here is to let people know, like there is, there shouldn't be a stigma. Like, in the same way that there's some people that might not be into hentai, uh, you know, maybe you are, maybe you aren't. There's some people that aren't into porn. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's something for everybody. If you are into porn, you should check out some hentai. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, want to thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, please like and subscribe, as they said, if you're on YouTube. If you're on Spotify, please follow us. Please share this uh podcast on your instagram because there is a share function through spotify onto instagram let people know in your stories that you're rocking with otakify and let us know like do you consider anime a deal breaker is it just something that you want to keep to yourself or is this something that you want to share with everybody thank you so much for listening and hope to catch up with you guys again next week peace